I don't know if you can really tell, but I am with the whole gang right now. Oh my god, look at them. They are making eye contact with the camera. This is the best day of my life. Okay, the cats just don't want to be around me right now. I totally get it. It's fine. I just got back to LA after going home for the holidays for about a month and let me tell you the life has been sucked out of me Unfortunately, I did not have the normal fun Boston trip that normally goes on when I go there I mean the holidays are always rough. So like it's fine. It's over with it's done Everything is in the past by the time I go to sleep I'll have been awake for almost 24 hours tonight and yes I am losing my mind my eyes are starting to hurt as you can tell I'm going somewhere I'm going to explain that in a second But I did have a good flight back here because I accidentally not like accidentally really kind of accidentally became a Delta gold medallion member the past year from flying Delta so much So that means I get like automatic upgrades 24 7 and before that I would think I was silver medallion and I was always getting upgraded to like comfort plus which was great because I was just always booking the least expensive seat possible and I automatically got upgraded to a seat with extra legroom every single time I flew Delta last year like it was unreal but today because I just hit gold your girl got upgraded to fucking first class so today was a big day I got to lie down I didn't sleep which was ridiculous I had two mimosas kind I kind of slept for like an hour after that, but not really like a real sleep. I watched Finding Nemo. I vibed and decompressed the entire way to LA. So that was great. Now I'm here and now I'm being forced out by Sydney and we are going to the LA Kings and National Predators hockey game because Sydney's friend is and or was on the Predators. I'm gonna have her explain that story in a second because of course anytime we try to do anything, something absurd happens. Nothing can ever be normal. It's truly just another day. So I'm gonna have her explain that when she gets home. Let me show you what my outfit is right now. We're going to ignore how disastrous my counter is, but I am wearing these leather pants that I got from Addison, I think. I don't know what brand they are. Then I'm wearing this Send Nudes IMG a sparkly top that I got in the mail today that I was so excited about coming home to. It just gives me like major pussycat doll vibes and that's like the vibes I really need to be channeling right now. And then I have my Zara black leather puffer jacket and then a ton of random jewelry going on. I feel kind of fun. I think this is a fit. I might even try and get an Instagram picture tonight, which I feel like I have neglected my Instagram for a hot minute now. I neglected a lot of my social media in 2021 because I had to focus on myself, but guess what? I'm back now, so I'm gonna pull it the fuck together. But um, putting the camera down for now, picking it back up when Sydney's here so we can just explain what the hell's going on, okay? Please hold. Guys, look, I'm back with Sydney. Thank God. <laughs> I unfortunately left her in our apartment to rot by herself for a month. I'm really sorry about that. I literally did not see a single person. Well, now you're looking at me, and I really need you to just... Uh, whoa. Whoa. You okay. are getting ahead of yourself. I actually am unable to speak. Okay, Sydney's gonna tell you what happened today. Here we go. Guys, I've been counting down to see my friend for the longest time, because I haven't seen him since when? When did I move here? September? Yes. Yes. Well, I, it, like June. Anyway, neither of us can speak. <laughs> we are back together. We are absolutely speechless the and floored. Was too to speak. Today was the big day, because because he's playing the LA Kings today. Well, he was playing the LA Kings today. I have been counting down this moment for at least, what, 60 days? Yeah, like she has not shut up about it because she just wanted to see her friend play. I was like, you have to be home by January 6th because it is, a, it is a big day. We got our tickets this morning. He gave us From tickets. him. <laughs> so kind of him. Thank you. But what's not kind of him is he left. He got traded <laughs> to a new team four hours before the puck drop. They actually put it on a plane and sent him across the country. <laughs> so now we are here to support, uh, I'm not sure who, maybe Maybe one of my rats, rats, <laughs> ratchets. <laughs> one of my matches on Raya. Okay, we're gonna go inside now because we're really late. You no, know, we have to tell them that. Oh, <laughs> they're playing the Predators, and how many Predators <laughs> have you met? All right. <laughs> She literally texted me that yesterday. How many predators have you matched with on Raya? I, met I was like, I was like, um, I don't, I, I don't know. I hope people are predators on Raya. Hopefully I was zero. talking about the hockey team. The hockey team. I know there's at least one predator that I'm in contact with. Not you being in contact with predators. <laughs> I love predator. Oh, okay, we have to go inside. We have to go inside. since we were at the Nashville Predators game. I had the migraine of a lifetime that night. Like I could not even see straight anymore. I was so exhausted from being up for like over 24 hours straight and I was just dehydrated, starving. I was a goddamn mess and I could not vlog anymore the rest of that night. Like I had to go home and I immediately passed the fuck out for like 14 hours and had the greatest sleep of my entire life. Now it is two days later and I'm going to Vegas. <laughs> I know, I am, I'm fine.
fucking insane and I'm fully aware of that and I'm going to own it But you know what we're going to make great content out of it this year 2022 is my year I am getting my shit together and I'm having fun. Okay, I'm just going to keep this little rant short and sweet But I'm going through it right now. Okay, I will let you in on a little secret a boy has unfortunately Pissed me the fuck off and I don't really like to talk about this shit on my channel anymore because I just like to keep that stuff private but like I am hurting and my plan originally was to sit in my apartment all weekend and like probably feel sorry for myself But I decided you know what that is not what Caitlyn Ray would do when she is sad Okay, and I know that you guys all like look up to me when it comes to this shit making the best of like bad things And I have decided that I need to just go live my best life in Vegas this weekend So I bought me and Sydney Katy Perry tickets for tonight in Vegas because I have been eating up all of the Katy Perry Vegas residency TikToks like they're all over my for you page I can't get away from it the second I saw the videos I was like I have to take on that residency at some point I did not think it was going to be this fast but the other day I looked at like the dates for her residency and she only had a few in January and none of them were gonna work for me except this weekend and I was like no way am I gonna end up going this weekend and then she doesn't come back again until March so I made this weekend work and now I have to get ready to go to fucking Vegas I am going to have a good time and just get back into my groove of just being me you know, and I'm not gonna be sad over a fucking guy who clearly just like took me for granted You know, I'm not gonna sit here and be sad about that because that would be so embarrassing Unfortunately, I'll have to pick up my phone and call Brooklyn Beckham again He's not gonna answer but like god if he did ooh, that would be incredible. It is 2022 I spent all of last year sad over my breakup and now another guy and I'm just I'm not doing it anymore I'm not fucking doing it anymore. This year is about me So I'm going to Vegas and I'm going to throw myself catapult myself all over the Vegas strip and I cannot fucking wait I myself might strip it's 10 30 Sydney is at work right now and she gets out at 1 so we're gonna like leave around 1 probably get to Vegas around like 6 ish the show's at 8 I can't decide if I should do my makeup here or what I don't really know but I do need to self tan because I am pale as a ghost my outfit for tonight oh Oh, iconic. I need to pack, get my life together, listen to Swish Swish and Peacock, and pull it the fuck together. So let me do that. I cannot wait. I just can't wait to pull into a Vegas parking garage. I don't know what it is, but like something about that is just like the greatest feeling in the world. Like when I pull into a Vegas parking garage, I feel like I have the world in my hands. Right now in this moment, I don't feel like I have the world in my hands, so I have to go, I have to do that. You know, I'm going to eat my coffee cake, drink my strawberry acid refresher, hope that this cat doesn't fucking knock my camera over, and we're gonna get ready to go to Vegas. And you're coming home with me. Oh my God, by the way, I bruised my chin last night trying to do the worm and my chin is throbbing and it kind of feels like I got chin filler but like look I didn't or maybe I did should I get chin filler should I just like redo my whole face probably not there's something wrong with me I'm gonna self tan now goodbye can you just literally see the Hawaiian roll it's honestly incredible so as you can tell we are well on our way to fucking Vegas for reasons unknown honestly the ball is in our court with everything today somehow and we do not know how this happened first off I got a free hotel room because I for whatever reason I guess I did some things right in life and I ended up with a platinum card last year and I just redeemed points for a free room at a resort place that Katy Perry is doing her show at. And then I also got a $125 food and drink credit, which I am so excited to take on Vegas with tonight. This is huge for me because I have approximately $39 in my bank account. So, you know so, what? Thank you, American I Express. I am eating good. I love you, American Express. <laughs> I'm always thanking people in your videos. I had to thank your manager for giving me a plane ticket. <laughs> I am now thanking American Express for your credit card points. <laughs> Who is it going to be next? It's only up from here. It is the first weekend of, well, technically the second weekend of 2022, but like the first full week and this oh. is this is what we're doing. Obviously, I was trying to figure out what the fuck we're gonna do after Katy Perry because like the night will be young. We wanna go to the club. Sydney's never been out in Vegas. She's never like done Vegas, which is insane. I only went when I was 16 to see Justin Bieber. Oh my god, that which actually me. now that I think about it, how weird is it that my parents let me get on a plane with a bunch of my friends at 16 and fly from Chicago to Las Vegas to see Justin Bieber at 16, at 16 years old. old. That's actually incredible. Now you get to do Vegas legally. Yeah, there you fucking go. Wow, you haven't been in almost 10 years. Holy what? Why did you have to say it? Well, I'm sorry. Yeah, I, just, like, I just like, like that. I just realized that and I had to, okay, I had to speak up. I had to use my platform. Nine, nine years. Let's not jump the gun on a You've never decade. done Vegas. Congrats, dude. You are going to be a new woman tonight. So I obviously had to go on TikTok and find a Vegas promoter. Found one guy. He sent me an entire list of things that we could do tonight. Only to discover. My best friends. My best friends. Only to discover that Ray from has a show tonight and of course Sydney for whatever godforsaken reason knows them so I we now have plans to pregame with them before their show at 11 o'clock right after Katy Perry I feel like knowing them is a stretch I know their people their people are my friends yes boy do I love their music oh my god we have to do the black beetle challenge in the club oh 100% we get the entire table to participate we're oh. like we're gonna be those girls, unfortunately. They are going to hate us. I cannot wait. We have about three hours left in our drive, though, and we have these wine rolls, and we are ready to take on the world. I will talk to you when I talk to you. First okay. off, Sydney just missed a fucking Bruno Mars billboard, so I am livid, because I was in the middle of playing Uptown Funk 
she messed up my funk, fuck my life. For fuck's sake, I don't YouTube. I have to buy a camera. Anyways, everyone, the time has come. Someone on Twitter said, <laughs> what is going to be Sydney's Times Square moment? And it is exactly this because she has just never done Vegas. Nonetheless, I see the lights. I am feeling like a star. Different city, different lights, okay. same girl. I have been to Vegas. Yes, 10 years ago. Jesus Christ, Kaylin, I was so not, old. I was not 16, 10 years ago. She's making false accusations <laughs> against me. I am not that old. We will take this to court. I have to go to the New York, New York roller coaster. Not tonight. <laughs> we need to check into the hotel and immediately get ready for Katy Perry and Sway Lee. Imagine thinking I am going to Katy Perry without riding the New York, New York roller coaster. I have to see Bruno Mars, <laughs> but he is not here, unfortunately. There are so many things that I have to do, and I do not know where to begin. Oh, the Blue Man Group. Oh, Michael Jackson. I have to see Michael Jackson. Boy, oh boy, do I have news for you. <laughs> I was like thinking the songs like, now you're in New York. Yeah, no, we're now in Now you're in Vegas. It doesn't flow. Oh my God, we are for whatever fucking reason here. I don't even know what to say. What the literal fuck? I am being humiliated in Las Vegas. <laughs> so this I is the car keys. What do you want from me, man? It's like the empty bag of wine rolls. <laughs> we ate the entire thing. I do not know if I'm more embarrassed that I am vlogging. This is so embarrassing you do this for work, but I'm more embarrassed that we ate an entire pack of Hawaiian rolls in approximately 30 minutes. Now, this is just wildly unnecessary. I cannot believe we are here right now. Alas, I have been to Vegas. <laughs> yes, wow. Look at this fucking room, guys. If I could give you any advice for 2022, figure out how to use credit cards, and please, for the love of God, get an American Express Platinum card. This is not a brand deal. I am just telling you, oh my God, my camera's dying. I have to get my new battery. All right, I am back in action. Anyways, we just got these for free because it comes with this room because of my cards. So that's fucking amazing. We have to start getting ready right this second and chug that. Ooh, the bathroom. Uh, Oh, wow. Well, we seriously need to start getting ready immediately. Boy, oh boy, is Vegas in for a treat tonight. And the treat is us. The treat is me. I am here to take the world by storm. Viva Las Vegas. Oh, for the love of God. Not the jazz hands. Play all night. Let's get it poppin'. I'm in Las Vegas, bitch. Okay, we are literally in such a fucking rush right now that I just left the room without vlogging and showing you our outfits and everything. She comes on stage in like five minutes and we don't even know where the arena is. And I'm about to wipe out over my dress, so um, I will update you in a second. Oh my god, I hope my boob doesn't come out. We don't even know if we're at the right place. Let's hope we are. told on Twitter that the show starts at 8.30 and it is 8.30 and she's on her third song and we just got we our drinks. We are the fucking everything. worst. Everything. Oh wow, okay, we're at Katy Perry. Yeah, she's yelling. Hello! Ripping me off when you get back into your car is the new taking off your bra when you get home. Oh my god. Eh? You're like a bigger deal than me, I'm gonna say it. Oh I'm my gonna god. say it, but don't agree with it. Cheers to seeing you on the side of the road! And cheers to being really, really, really controversial. Cheers, Mr. Maskey, everybody drink! It's me, Ricky T. No, no way. way. I'm sorry. What? Oh. Where did he come from? Oh. So I really do not know what to expect here, but I'm going to try and have fun. Final moments before alleged chaos. How are you Viva! feeling? Oh my God. <laughs> I will tell you what 
I see right now. What do you say? Lots of lights. <laughs> oh my god, I see chihuahuas. <laughs> what, really? Oh my god, are those hairless cats or are they chihuahuas? They're fucking chihuahuas. Dude, I don't fucking know. Oh my god, hello. Oh my god, there's like seven of them. Oh, oh my, my god, god, they're so cute. That guy is staring right at me as I am literally filming his car and his animals. Great. I think you'll want me to borrow one. Yeah, I'd love to see what would happen if you fucking asked that, dude. No, please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Okay, 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 okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Somebody come get it. <laughs> We have to get food right this fucking second and I have to overthink but and rethink my entire get, life After we get food, I have to go ride the roller coaster Bro, I do not know if I can go on a roller coaster I just like really cannot imagine myself on a roller coaster today <laughs> Bro, I have to go home. Oh my god, my head and my head kill my head. Yeah, my head is throbbing, so I threw up. No, get up. We have to go to brunch. Bro. No, you're getting up, bro. Bro, get up. <laughs> Not going to eat bro. Bro, get up. We are going to brunch immediately. I'm done going out. My birthday is in nine days, and this is the state I'm in. We're in Nevada. <laughs> I'm in Nevada. That is the state we're in. Looking at Vegas during the daytime like feels illegal. Like, look at this. I don't want to be seeing this right now. This makes me feel like terrible about everything I've ever done ever. I'm a piece of shit in the Katy Perry stage. I I can't believe I saw the singing piece of shit. We have to talk about how you kept saying you were so excited to see the singing piece of shit, and I literally thought you were talking about any fairy. But I was telling Sydney that we just have to go to Vegas. I was like, dude, like, how do you feel about going to Vegas tomorrow? Like, I have to see Katy Perry. I have to see the singing piece of shit. And she did. <laughs> Not you doing a spit take over a sentence you just said. I literally just repeated it, and you spit your water out. I can't stop thinking about you saying, go to see the singing piece of shit. You said it at least 20 times, and I never questioned it. I don't see the Katy Perry TikToks. Oh, I'm on Katy Perry TikTok for I whatever reason. I thought you were talking about Katy Perry. Like, you had to go see the singing piece of shit that bad. And I was like, why does she want to see Katy Perry? It might be she's, she's a piece, piece of shit. shit. No, I meant the literal singing piece of shit. Katy Perry's not a singing piece of shit. Katy Perry rocks. Please stop drooling. You just threw up all over yourself. You have destroyed the bed. You have to stop saying funny things. I drink my water. I have to find a case of you right now. Let's go. This magic moment. We just finished at one restaurant and we obviously got what I just showed you. But then we realized that we had a $33 credit for that restaurant specifically for breakfast for each of us. So that was free. And then we still have another $60 for the other resort credit that I had. So I just dragged Sydney to another restaurant. Like we are going to two restaurants this morning for no reason. I am sitting here thinking about how hungover I am and I can't even fathom this. I can't, you can't even. even focus on this and I just made us buy a $60 cheese board. I had to finish the rest of like my credit. I have to eat a duck. What the fuck? You ordered duck? Have you ever had duck? I don't think I've ever had duck now. Duck is so good. My Sunday afternoon train is eating a duck. Why, why do I do these things? I cannot wait for my cheese board. Why am I in Vegas? And what the hell happened last night? Why did the chicken go to the seance? <laughs> <laughs> what? Why did the what? Why did the chicken go to the seance? To the seance? The seance. in bed right now. It's two o'clock. We really need to just go the fuck back. I cannot go back. <laughs> we need to go back. Yeah, I cannot go out of this bed. We really need to go, but like when We're me and- <laughs> Okay. When we got back from eating our two breakfasts and a cheese board, I sat in the bed and I was like, Sydney, why do my arms hurt so bad? And both of our arms are like actually throbbing. Like it hurts to like hold this camera right now. It hurts to do anything with my arms. And Sydney was just like, did we go to the hotel gym last night and like lift weights? Because I do not know why I am in so much pain right now. Like I can't figure it out, dude. Like I am literally not <laughs> convinced that we didn't go to the hotel gym. I think I might've done an arm circuit. Dude, I could like, not lift my arms above my head. Like was I bench? Pressing. Not you bench pressing with Swaley. Somebody were doing 
a cardio exercise. <laughs> he did a very splash. Did he have dumbbells over there? I had to have lifted that. I lifted a dumbbell. I know I did. There has to have been a dumbbell involved in last night's festivities because I just what don't. What was last night of festivities? <laughs> Sydney just said to me, dude, I swear we didn't hook up in the closet last night. We were just telling each other jokes. I'm like, so what? I'm serious. Okay. And I no just accused her of hooking up with someone, obviously, as you can tell. I know it looked suspicious that we went into the closet. And you literally yeah, did not come up for a very concerning long time. It was a very, very loud environment and we had to talk to each other. In the closet. Yes, yeah, so we went to the closet and I'm not joking, we were just cracking jokes. I didn't even kiss him. I swear to God. You just told him a joke. I told him a joke. Everyone has been DMing me saying I should have done drugs to go see Katy Perry. And like, honestly, I think you guys are right. I kind of think I took an L by like only drinking for that. I might have to come back on drugs, but like no drugs were involved last night. There was a guy that pranked Sydney that she did Molly water though. Do you remember that? Yes, I was so so that was wait, I so that. dude i panicked i panicked oh i panicked i just remember that happened i just rose from the dead thinking about that oh my god my heart rate went through i've never done molly in my life bro i drank that water and he was like haha it's molly water and we just looked at each other and we were like my, no my stomach way my, ass. my stomach fell to my ass i was like this cannot be happening to me. and, <laughs> and he, was, he waited like so long to tell you it was a joke too no, that was, was bad like, he was like you just drink water i'm like like, yeah, like if it's on the table, like why the fuck wouldn't I drink it? Who puts Molly in water at a group function? <laughs> It's like a personal problem if you're doing Molly water. <laughs> and I have nothing to do with it. I want to go to bed so bad. We slept for four hours. And now we have to do a four and a half hour car ride. I would fucking die in that car. I have to find Katy Perry. I have to give her a hug. What is her morning routine? Where's Katy Perry? I feel like she would give such good advice. Dude, it's going to be pitch dark by the time we get back. We have to leave. I have never been awake at 3.30 <laughs> in the morning. Like, honestly. It's yeah, just never happened before. until ripping tequila. At 3.30 <laughs> 3.34 in the morning. At our second concert of the night. And then I'm wondering why I feel like this. Yeah, it's time to get out of this room. Bitch, I'm geeked out, huh? Boy, you tweaking if you 